we are going to scan a 14 years old girl with the only complaint of uh, pain in the abdomen constant for a few months and uh, with no clinical examination notes with no history of the patient no lab investigation uh, so we start uh, from the liver and see and you see that the echogenicity of the liver has gone down much the reason that's the reason why you are able to see the uh, tiny multiple tiny one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. These are all minor portal vein radicals and these are seen in diffuse decreased parenchymal echogenicity when the echogenicity of the liver has gone down. Now this is the uh, pancreas, sorry, this is the gallbladder, this is the portal vein, this is the inferior vena cava. The liver is okay, its outer surface is smooth, but as I come with the uh, hepatorenal angle, I have, I do see a flute there in the hepatorenal angle. This is the, now this is the right kidney, partially visualized, not completely, and this is the liver. It, Diffuse, decreased echogenicity or brightness, and uh, these are the bubbles. These are all bubbles. Now, this thin line, this black line you are seeing between the liver and the kidney, the right kidney, in the longitudinal section, the kidney is in the longitudinal section, partially we would not completely. And so this line is the fluid, what we call as fluid in the hepatorenal angle. So there is fluid in the hepatorenal angle. Uh, so we have this finding with us. One first finding. This is the fluid there within the hepatorenal angle. Okay. Now, by itself, the kidney is uh, seen normal, gallbladder normal, portal vein is normal. There is no dilation of the intrahepatic bile ducts. There is no focal region in the liver. There is no pleural effusion, no fluid seen above the diaphragm. Though. Uh, to my experience, I will say that there is some fluid more than normal above the diaphragm, but uh, generally we don't report this. <coughs> this is the diaphragm, right hemi diaphragm, no fluid in this area, coming to the left lobe of the liver. Now this is the left lobe of the liver with uh, its branches of the portal vein. The outer surface of the liver is smooth. The angle of the liver is sharp. Okay. Better lumbar cell, I think. Sir, okay. So the hepatic veins are not dilated right better and the subcostal appearance of the heart rather now intercostal appears and says that the heart is not in line so the cardiac renal pathologies are ruled out as a cause of fluid that was seen in the hepatorenal angle. This is the spleen. 
this area is supreme by reading 9.2 centimeters is within normal no fluid in the left pleural space this is the left hemidiaphragm this is the left kidney left kidney is normal right kidney is also normal now coming down from transfer section from the lower area lumbar region of the uh, uh, subposter region the patient is fine moving the foot downwards magnifying a little bit and uh, magnifying the image and then coming down straight here you give you an impression of fluid now on the left side this is the source major muscle this is the paracolic gutter above it there is very small amount of fluid in the left paracolic gutter this black area this black area now in the pelvic region you can see the that uh, this is the longitudinal section that shows partially filled urinary bladder this is the urinary bladder partially filled this is the uterus as seen through the ascitic fluid this is the fluid now through fluid you can see that the uterus myometrium is normal endometrial canal is in secretory phase this is the cervix so these areas are normal no focal lesion seen however fluid is seen in the pelvic cavity and uh, this area all this area is fluid this is all fluid this is the urinary bladder differentiate between the fluid in the pelvic cavity and the partially filled urinary bladder now this is the urinary bladder and this is the fluid okay now in transfer section this is the transfer section of the uterus and uh, in transfer section the uterus is seen surrounded by ascitic fluid and this is the this is the right left sorry left area the left at the next side and with this being the ovary left ovary is normal there is some follicular activity seen the age of the patient is 14 and is in late secretory phase as the endometrial canal suggests this is the transfer section okay this is the uterus in transfer section this is the ovary the ovary now coming towards the right at next up we see a thin wall multi septated full of septa complicated cystic area that may is approximately 4.7 into 4.6 cm these thread like structures that you are seeing within the cystic area are the septas this is these are all thin septas now why it is cystic because you see the posterior wall acoustic enhancement and uh, acoustic enhancement posterior wall now does this does this cystic area change its shape when i give a 90 degree i rotate the probe more than 90 degree and you can see that the cyst retains its size shape and posterior acoustic shadow 
this is the posterior acoustic shadow, the bright area you are seeing is the posterior acoustic shadowing from the cystic area, complicated cystic area with septums, the thread-like structures, thin thread-like structure, thread -like structures are the septums. Now if, it's, if you concentrate in this area, they, this is not as black as this area is. Clear fluid will appear as you are seeing in this region. This is clear, but this is full of debris. So this finding is as right ovary is not visualized separately. So this is a tubo ovarian mass of infective nature in the region of the right annexa that is surrounded, that also is uh, surrounded by the fluid, the psychic fluid. So in conclusion, what we will, I will conclude is that this is a case of tuberculous uh, bowel disease with the, this uh, tube ovarian mass being also representing uh, also represent, representing the tube ovarian mass, cystic complicated mass of infective nature. Okay. Rest, this is the fluid, this is the fluid, this is the fluid. I decrease the gain, now you will see that the fluid is clear of any echoes, other findings process and the endometrial canal is measures 10.8 is in secretory phase surrounded by fluid. This is the urinary bladder, part, almost empty, and this is the acetic fluid. This. So this is a case of acetic fluid. This is more fluid. These are bowel segments. These are the bowel segments. This is the fluid in the uh, dependent region, peritoneal cavity. This is the urinary cavity.